Hiya everyone, Amy here. I'm just here to do a quick Zoom tutorial on how to use Zoom on a computer. Um, I'm using a MacBook Air, but the layout is really similar on most laptops and computers. Now, if you're using a mobile phone, you can find another very similar video um, linked next to where you found this one, hopefully. Um, and it will just help you um, navigate all the things that we'll be doing um, during Chapter of Maths this year. Now, the first thing you need to do is download the app. Uh, this is really simple. You just search it up on the internet. Um, this is what it looks like. If you follow the instructions, it will talk you through how to install it um, and then talk you through how to make an account. Once you've got an account and you're ready to join a meeting, now you'll have all the meeting information. Now this looks like this, we've got a link and then a meeting ID and passcode. Now the easiest way to join a meeting is just using the link. All you need to do is click on the link, like so. Open Zoom, it says join a meeting. Then you can cho choose to join with video or join without video. I want to join with video like this. Again, you have to wait. Now you may have to wait for someone to let you into the meeting and um, see so if you just wait for them to do that. Um, and then this screen will come up. And once you joined the meeting, we'll give you this option to join with computer audio. If you click that, that means people can hear you. So you can see we're on the meeting now. Uh, now, I'm just going to leave the meeting again and just show you how to join with um, the other details and then we'll go through a little bit about what's on this page. So to leave a meeting, we'll click this. Okay, so if we go back to our Word document, we've got all the information here. If you click onto the Zoom icon like this, you get these options. Now if you click Join, you come up with this. So this is where you put the meeting ID in. I'm just going to copy that. I'm just it's quicker. Put that in there. You can also change your name here. But we'll just leave it as that for now. Obviously, my name isn't Ben, but um, <laughs> we'll deal with that a little bit. Um, and you can choose whether you want to connect audio and video there. So if you want to go and you don't want people to see your face, you can click that there. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to click join. Then it will come up and ask for a password. Now this is this. So again, I'm just going to copy that across because it's a lot quicker. And click join. And again, you might have to wait for someone to let you in. So again, click join with video. Yep, so we need to wait for the meeting host to let us in. Again. Thank you. So we've been let in again. And now I'll go through a little bit about what happened. So don't forget again, you need to tip, click join with computer audio. I want to maximise this just so we can see it a little bit better. Now, the first thing to look at is down on the left hand side. This is the mute button, probably the most important button of them all. Um, so if you click mute, it will mute yourself so nobody else can hear you. And then unmute, obviously, to unmute so people can hear you. Uh, now, it's really difficult on Zoom um, when all those people are talking, because quite often you get feedback. So if other people are talking and you're not, you're not saying anything, just pop yourself on mute. Uh, you've also got an option to stop video. So that will turn your video off if you don't want people to see you. Um, it's quite useful um, if you're wanting to, someone's walking past you or something and they don't want to be in the camera. Um, or if you just don't want to be seen. Um, but I'm going to pop that back on. Now here's the participants button. So if you click on here, you can see everyone who is in and you can see if they're muted or not. Now you also have an option here to raise your hand. And um, this will just put on a little thing up here um, for people to see. Basically, if there's lots and lots of people on and you want to say something, you can raise that so people know that you're wanting to say something. Click lower hand to put that down. Let's get rid of that. So this is the chat option. Now this is where you can type and um, ask questions and um, talk to people in there as well. You can also send files and pictures um, if someone's needing something like that. Um, and you can save the chat. Now this goes to everyone um, or you can just send a message directly to the host if you have a question for them. Um, but everyone will see that and anyone can reply on there. Um, now, these options are available to the host so they can share their screen or record um, the session. Now, reactions, you can just round of applause or thumbs up. Um, and that will just go down eventually. Now, This gives you an option to rename, particularly useful if you've gone on with the link because um, that doesn't give the option as you join. So if you click rename here, you can change your name. If you don't want your surname on 
or um, you can use into an else's account. So you can rename like that. And then that's how everyone will see your name. And then up here we've got the different views. Now speaker view puts the person who is speaking on as the person that you see. Um, now obviously there's only two screens on this, um, but this is really useful if you're trying to um, listen to one person in particular and they're you know, talking, you can do that. Um, but then gal gallery view is how you can see everybody on the screen. Um, if there are more than 16 people, an arrow will appear here. All you need to do is click the arrow and it will swap to another screen where you can see everybody else um, if there's people that you can't see. Um, so that's quite simple. Now you can pin video. So if you're on speaker view and um, it's swapping between loads of different people and it's not actually sticking with the person who's actually talking, you can click pin video and that will pin that video in that place. Then click gallery view, come back out of that. And I think that is probably all of it. Exit full screen to exit full screen. Again, that puts you into full screen. Um, so that's pretty much um, most important things that you'll need. So mute, stop video, participants chat, uh, reactions, rename up here, and then change your view up here. Um, I think that's probably all your info that you'll need. Um, and then again to leave the meeting, which can be an awkward one if you're not quite sure how to do that and you're stuck in a meeting. Um, click leave down here and then just leave meeting and you will have left the meeting. Um, so that is all for a computer um, using Zoom. Um, we've also got, done a video on how to use Zoom on the mobile phone. Um, so if you're planning to use Zoom on your mobile phone, please do check that out because the layout is uh, slightly different. Uh, but thank you very much.